Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part three in the jQuery slideshow video. I, I've sliced everything up and I have uh, created um, images. And now I'm starting to get into the jQuery code behind this whole thing. Uh, before I start getting into the actual code, I, I inserted my Google uh, script that, that goes out and grabs jQuery from the Google servers. Um, I recommend using this because it actually goes to the nearest Google server rather than going to, let's say, someone over in England is trying to access your server in Ohio or something like that. Um, it's going to be a lot quicker for them to load up the information. Uh, so that's why I recommend that. And then uh, if you want to get into um, the Google.load stuff, you could, they have plenty of documentation on that, but it's pretty simple to use. And you can load up pretty much anything, um, jQuery, jQuery UI, uh, different versions of jQuery. So if there's a, spe a specific one you're trying to target, um, they probably have it on their servers. So I'm just going to jump right into this. Uh, one thing that I did not add into my project folder was the images for the actual car itself, which I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to get that in there. Um, so hold on a second. All right, guys. Um, I just added three pictures of cars. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, so I have the Lamborghini, which I just named car.jpg. There's a red concept car, uh, which I named red, and the uh, SSC Aerosport. Or uh, not, not Aerosport. Anyways, um, I have those three cars, which I'm going to cycle through in the slideshow. But you can add as many as you want. It's not going to depend on how many you have in the list. Although I wouldn't go more than five if they are larger images, just because of loading time. Uh, just my recommendation. But if we switch over to our code, I'm going to get get rid of this so that way uh, every time we load up the page, we don't have that annoying J uh, JavaScript pop up. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a div. Give it an ID of slideshow. And then within this div, I'm going to do a div ID equals previous. Close it. And then I'm going to do another one and call it next. And then I'm going to do a class of next arrow and then also div class equals next blue and this will make sense once I actually get into doing my uh, CSS styling so I will do the same thing up here div class e whoops, equals previous arrow and then div class equals neck whoops previous blue okay so now I have my navigation buttons in place and next I gotta add my div rotator and this is gonna hold all of our photos and then uh, I'm also going to add div id equals sh shadow and this is going to be the shadow at the bottom of our, our slideshow so the next step is really adding each of our images into the rotator so I'm going to create a div give it a class of photo and this is going to be one of the keywords that jQuery is looking for. Then I'm going to do image source equals car.jpg and close it. And then do div class. I'm just going to copy that line. It'd be a lot quicker. Paste and paste. Okay. do red and then SSC for the other two files. So now if I save it and if I open that page not loading anything um, oh, I gotta add images 
to the path. It's been a long week. All right, now if I save it, refresh it, and there we go. And now you'll see that they're stacked. That's not exactly what we want, um, but before I get into CSS styling, I am going to add, uh, well, I gotta get into CSS now. Um, so in our head section, we'll do style type equals text CSS, and end that. And then we'll do our photo class, and we'll also add a ID of rotator. All right, so now photo will give a dis display of none. Yeah, none. No. Position absolute z well actually with the top zero z index doesn't really matter rotator position relative and relative you can put it at a certain position based on other things around it absolute will take on um, the absolute positioning of the nearest relative or, or the the highest parent item that has a relative positioning um, so the rotator will actually be at a certain place and then the photos will be positioned based on that uh, that rotator and in the other videos I said I wanted to add padding two pixels around it and then give it a background color of white oops to give our images the uh, the effect that I was going for with having the white the white border and then I'm just gonna do body and I'm gonna set the body background color to there we go like a dark gray so now if I come back over here and refresh we have our absolute positioning and our rotator is not quite following what we want it to. So we'll do width All right. so now we want to set the width and height of our rotator for 78 pixels by 297 pixels and then we will also want to add a top positioning of two pixels to our photos. So now if we come back over here, they should be lined up correctly as they are. And I'm going to set these as display none and photo, whoops, photo first dash child, which is a, a specific selector display block. So now that the first image is the one that gets shown. Alright, now I'm going to start in with my arrows. And I want to add dot previous arrow for class. Whoops. And I'm going to go into a second video for this. Uh, so we'll set our background color, well, background URL equal to dot slash images slash left underscore arrow dot PNG. We'll do a centered positioning, no repeat. And we have to do with uh, we'll just, uh, I'm not quite sure how wide it is. Um, come over here. Properties, details, 61 by 172. So we'll do 61 pixels wide 
and our height, I'm actually going to do 100%. Oops. And I'm going a little bit over on this video. So I'm going to finish this one up in the next video. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and if you guys want to stick around, I'm going to try and finish it up in one more video. So hopefully uh, four will be the magic number.